If you spend much time in the southeast corner of BCIT's Burnaby campus, you might have noticed some strange things overhead. But that's not a UFO you're looking at, it's a UAV, an unmanned aerial vehicle. And it's the latest tool in BCIT's technical arsenal. So North. True North, yeah. Chris Camben is the man behind the drone's appearance on campus. He says the goal is to find okay. work for the drone in as many of the school's programs as possible. And we put a word out to everybody here on campus, uh, staff and faculty, that if they have uh, any applications that they think this might be appropriate for, please come to us. So that could be anything from uh, 3D mapping, uh, search and rescue, forestry, fish and wildlife, can use it for inspections. And then I'm going to point it straight down into the trees. That versatility is something many students say they can get behind. I, I, I don't see the necessity of it, but I think it's cool. And I think for a tech school like this, it's definitely something that gets kind of students interested. For like aerial surveys or things like that, just in the geoscience kind of field. Getting coffee maybe from uh, Tim Hortons here over to SW9, so we don't have to make this little walk back and forth. The device takes two to fly, one to pilot and one to man the camera. It can capture and stream in HD video, take high-res stills, and be mounted with infrared as well. For the time being, legal and safety issues mean that the UAV can only be operated within strict height limits and can't leave campus. They also mean that students themselves likely won't get a chance to pilot the drone. Obviously, there's there's rules and regulations to flying these things because uh, you know, if you if you don't know what you're doing, you can seriously injure or even kill somebody with these. It's like having a flying lawnmower in the air. Of course, there's a price tag. The UAV is worth about $10,000. Kevin says that's cheap compared to the cost of renting a helicopter to do similar work. But when we asked students what they thought of the cost, not everyone was on board. It's a little much for the use of it, right? If, uh, you know, there's a little upgrades that I can see around that could definitely be uh, the 10 grand to go towards, right? Not a drone that I don't know how many people are going to get use of, right? The team behind the UAV is currently reaching out to other schools on campus looking for new applications. With growing interest in the devices, it's a safe bet we'll be seeing it flying overhead a lot more soon. In Burnaby for The Link, I'm Simon Little.